All right, so this is going to be the start of my four-part video series. I'm really excited as fuck, guys. This shit's going to be balling as hell. And this is going to be about nationalism. Part one. I can just tell you, nationalism. And I like to start a firm introduction. There's two things, nationalism and patriotism. What they both have in common is that they're both valuizations for a state. And both of them are 19th century. They're both opposed. If I say that I'm... If I don't associate myself as a Dominican, and there's Dominican nationalists, so I might freak out and say, Hey, you're not supposed to do that. We're... I don't consider myself a United States patriot. I don't enjoy being an American citizen or see anything good in it. They're gonna go and say, hey, you're not supposed to do that. Or, this is a stupid thing to do. It's okay for you to do it, but it's a stupid thing to do. Or, hey, that's really offending me. And this is what I'm gonna talk about, nationals. Now, what's my goal in discussing nationalism? These aren't political, economic values, or sociological values, or even civic values. They're political values, philosophies. That's it. So all it is. I think that first thing I should get to is telling you guys what a nationalist means it shouldn't be hard it's very holistic there's an infinium people who have the same let's take me for example we all know what the Dunbar unit is D-U-N-B-A-R unit or Dunbar's number D-U-N-B-A-R apostrophe S number and basically says I can only care about a number of people from 150 to 250 that anything higher than that at some point I'm not going to recognize these people as actually being people as we're selfish and I'm a New Yorker I know this I walk down the street and I don't really if it's really crowded I don't really care at this point I don't look at this long cluster fuck as being people to the same extent powerful emotions I have for just people living in the same household as me fucking weirdos out there in the back it's like a renegade back there I don't know what the hell is going on well I do know what the hell is going on so if we get the same number of people who have the same culture race and ethnicity as me and they're in the same state that's a keyword same state that'll still be over 250 people I guarantee you a lot of people say, wow, I'm very unique. There's not a lot of people out there. If 1% of the people in the world are like you, feel something in common with you, then you're already generic. Let's get that straight. Just 1%. Now, here's the part where I sort of get bored and things get slow and this video becomes 15 minutes because it's three times slower so that's it there's an it's an unnatural value to value people who have things in common with you that are these huge cluster fucks and all that makes it easy to value people having things in common but there needs to be something very, very specific. Very specific. 
And the state can't do that. The state's a fantasy structure. It needs to have a community of people who are, in general, at a high population. It turns this fantasy structure of a few people into millions and millions and millions of people who are... Well, I'm not going to say people at this point. I'm going to say citizens. Citizens of a statist nation. A nation state that... They all have something in common. But they're not all going to give a crap about each other. You can tell that from the Holocaust. How are these people so indifferent at this point? Well, large populations. You can't care about everyone. You look at a newspaper, there's so many people involved that the only thing that's really going to make you feel emotionally horrible are the tonalities of the newspaper. People dying and all that stuff sound like an idiot at this point but you get my point millions and millions of people all have something in common but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna care about each other that they're united you can't have a little faction of people who are united for the same cause at such high populations it's because they have things in common it's not going to create a value as a Dominican or a Dominicant at this point. I really don't see it being possible for me to actually have a legitimate value for DR. And this is where it leads and juxtaposes into patriotism, which is a conflicted belief. And I already crossed and talked about cosmopolitanism in a 30 plus minute video. So you can tell where this is all going. Values, values, identity. At this point, talk about philosophical values, and more importantly, identity. How do you identify yourself? And is it natural for you to identify yourself as certain things? The way I see it, because of these high populations of people who have certain things in common, just because they have things in common doesn't mean that they're going to be united under a state. There's still going to be conflictions and divisions and de-integrations, disintegrations, segregations, emotionally. That's just the fault of the fantasy structure. And the way you identify yourself as being someone who has things in common with so many people shows that the fantasy structure is failing. Because you identify yourself as this. That means that Somewhere people are being aware that that they're not unaware they're they're not gonna de rationalize they could rationalize at this point they could see themselves and this as being some sort of legitimate hoax maybe in the future unlike people who are pro democracy and they don't call themselves pro democracy people call themselves status no one does that. Only people who actually st study this stuff, who study this kind of stuff. Most people don't identify themselves as status, but they have a philosophy. It's all philosophy at this point. Implicit philosophy. People who identify themselves as patriots and nationalists, that's where the identity comes from. People identify themselves as patriots and nationalists. Guys who or stereotype to have their hand over their heart that's their identity and that philosophy is unnatural alright so I'm gonna get a part two in the future I'm make, probably gonna make a response to this because I started rambling near the end but hey it's just a fact of life